Okay, if you saw the video on the multiple fixtures, you saw how I bought these parts in. Uh, this video, we're going to focus on if there's a change to the part, how do we get it to, uh, to update all our changes. So remember, this is a file all by itself. In, the, in this particular example, it's called MF2. And the original part is back here called delete. Okay, so I'm going to stop this. And let's go back over to the original part and let's make a few changes. I'm going to double click on this feature for the rectangular pocket. I'm going to say it's really an inch and a half wide and maybe two and a half long. Apply. Also, this hole, I'm going to double click on the hole there and go to the location and say, well, it's really down uh, three inches. All right, so I've made some changes here. I'm going to go ahead and save my changes. And I'm going to jump back over to the other document, the multiple fixture document. And nothing has changed. And there's no automatic process to say that my part has changed. I kind of have to help it along. So I'm going to go over here and click on the step two in the um, uh, steps for, and click on the parts. And if I go to the parts list, I can just highlight this part and say reload. So watch what happens over here when I reload the part. Uh, you will see that it updates all the changes. And if I go ahead and play again, um, that's the simulus, the center line, go back to 3D and play. You will see that it then updated all my parts. And again, if I need to, since it was totally reloaded, if I wanted to optimize the toolpath, I would do the same thing I did last time, pull out my results window. It's just one way to get to the automatic ordering operations, tell it to minimize the rapid distance. It reorders the sequence of operations. And now if I say play, it'll be a little bit more optimized. 